Good morning guys, welcome back to my channel. As you can see, I am in the bathroom because I just got out of the shower and I decided I was going to share with you some of my favorite Sephora products because they have a sale right now and I'm hoping you can take advantage of it the way I have. So I figured I would share by showing why I like these products, how I use them and how they might be able to benefit you. So this is going to be perhaps a shorter video, but it's going to be full of good stuff. So you're gonna to wanna to make sure that you pay attention and make sure that you hit the subscribe button as well as the bell button so that you're notified anytime videos like this drop. So with that being said, let's jump right into it. This is one of my favorite skincare products that I like to use. It is from Necessaire and it is their body serum. The way you use this product and really anything that has hyaluronic acid in it is you wanna make sure that you put it onto your skin while your skin is still damp. So if you're using it on your face, if you're using it on your body, and I use this, this is their body serum. So it's got hyaluronic acid, niacinamide, so all these really, really good key players that are helpful for keeping and maintaining healthy skin. And I like this body serum because I use it almost like as a primer. As soon as I get out of the shower, while my skin is still damp, I will put a couple of pumps of this into my hands and sp spread it, rub it in. And then I will just take it all over my body. So like I said, I use this as a primer and I put it absolutely everywhere on me um, just to make sure that I'm starting off right because this is going to make sure that I'm locking in hydration from my shower and I don't dry out. You know like when you get out of the shower and sometimes your skin feels like really dry and it already starts looking ashy and stuff? That's not what we're trying to have, especially in the winter months. So. The slip feels great. It goes a long way with this product, which is what I really like about it. Um, I need to lose this towel. Doing so much. But yes, I use this as a primer, my absolute favorite. So Necessaire actually has several products in their line that I love. They have a body wash, they have a body lotion, as well as an exfoliating scrub. All of their products are really good. They're very much giving like naturally based. They smell amazing. I just, this doesn't have really any sense to it. This is fragrance free, which also works for me, but their body scrub's also really good. So you can get the set at Sephora right now, it's on sale 20% off. Check it out. After I use the body serum, I will go in with the body lotion from the same line because they're really just doing amazing things in terms of skincare. I really love how it makes my skin feel. I feel like it gives me almost like a spa-like experience. It just feels so good on my skin. So. I will start with the body serum, go in with the body lotion, and just finish up my body skincare routine. For the body wash, I use that every day. The exfoliating one, I try not to use that more than two to three times a week for my body, but that's because I have so many exfoliating things that I like to use, but I will say that's the one I keep reaching for because it's just such a light scent, it's non-greasy, um, and it's still super exfoliating. I really like it. So yeah, now I'm just gonna finish getting dressed so that I can do the rest of my getting ready. So I got dressed because I am in a rush and I want to make sure that I get out of here on time, but I still want to make sure that y'all are getting this amazing skincare tea. So Believe Moisturizer, one of my favorites, I need to make sure y'all can see this. So Belief has an Aqua Bomb Moisturizer. So Moisturizer is the second last step, second to last step in my skincare routine. It should be the second to last step in all of your skincare routines. But before sunscreen, during the day before sunscreen, I will use this Belief Aqua Bomb Hydrating Moisturizer. And let me tell you, there are very few products that leave me speechless, that leave me unable to find a cost-effective dupe, that leave me 
ready to just give them an arm and a leg every single time I purchase it. And the Aqua Bomb Moisturizer is that product. It is just so good. So it's a gel cream moisturizer and it's just such a luxurious experience. When you put it on your face, you immediately think to yourself, now if this is what moisturizer is supposed to feel like, what the hell have I been doing before? It just feels so, so good. I'm getting it everywhere. Um, it's amazing. Pay attention, there is a moisturizing balm and an aqua balm. Honestly, they're both great for you, but the Aqua Balm is just, it's like giving your skin a nice, tall, cold drink of water. It just feels so good. I especially like using the Aqua Balm at night before I go to bed, but they also have an Aqua Sleeping Mask that's really fantastic. The entire Belief Moisturizing Hydrating line Perfect, absolutely perfect. And I have tried so many different things to see if there was some other product that might be comparable or might be something that, you know, would be something I could switch out for this. And I ain't found it yet. I ain't found it. So I just give them my money every time because it's, it's that good. So yeah, I will do that. My Aqua Bomb Moisturizer and then some sunscreen. And I've been loving the sunscreen from Bolden. Bolden Beauty, they're black owned. There is no white cast, no white cast, super lightweight, not greasy, which I find to be an issue with other, excuse me, with other sunscreens. I find that they're super greasy, which makes it really hard when I am trying to do my makeup and I already have greasy skin, I don't need that. So between the Aqua Bomb being so lightweight and hydrating and then the sun sunscreen, and then the sunscreen also being lightweight, non-pore clogging, non-greasy. I just feel like when I go in with my makeup, it feels like I'm starting with my skin. There's, It feels like there's nothing on it, even though I have done what I need to do to moisturize and to protect it from the sun. So, mm, onward, more Sephora favorites. All right, so we're still doing good on time. Let's keep talking about our Sephora favorites. So I am at my makeup table now. This is where I do my makeup. I never considered myself a makeup girly, to be quite honest with you, but I have accumulated, I'm looking at all my makeup stuff and you can see the situation is quite extensive. It goes from this tower here of makeup and foundation to all the way across. And obviously I need to tidy up in here um, to the corner there. There's just a lot of makeup in this corner. and. There's actually a drawer full of excess stuff that I need to organize, but that's not the point. The point we're here to talk about is Sephora makeup favorites. Now I've already done the part of my skincare routine with the sunscreen. So at this point I'm going to, I'm going to work today. So I honestly, I be around them kids at those students at school. I don't like to wear a ton of makeup when I go to school, but I do like to walk in with makeup because at some point I do put a mask on because I don't trust them kids. But I like to make sure that my skin and my makeup looks really amazing because they be all over social media and Instagram. And if I was looking crazy in there, they would absolutely clown me. Um, kids are ruthless. I say kids, they're not children. These are college students. I'm digressing. My makeup has to be right and flawless when I go into work because I am not about to let these college babies clown me. No, ma'am. So, let me show you what I'm really enjoying. So I love, love, love. I use it so much, I've like lost the wood. I'm in here. So I love the Charlotte Tilbury um, Brow Lift Pencil. So the Charlotte Tilbury Brow Lift Pencil is one of my absolute favorites. Uh, the color I use is natural black, and I feel like that really works for me. I cannot use like jet black, even though my my hair is not jet black, but even still on my skin, jet black just looks really, really weird, really harsh, and I don't like that for me, so I don't use that. Um, but this one from Charlotte Tilbury, the angle and the precision is so, so good. I love this. It is at Sephora, it's at Nordstrom. I think I got this in PR and you know that's how they get me i get it in pr and i'm like oh this is good i have to get more of this and so 
if not influencing other people to get it, they're definitely convincing me because this is an amazing product. So, and for, again, for me, I like to keep it simple. I don't use a bunch of other things, um, especially with this, I don't need to. I don't feel like I need to. Just take it, create the brow and the fluffiness. Come in with the pencil brush, the spoolie brush. And boom, we've got a brow. It's that, It's like that simple, that easy, that good. I, I love this pencil. Do they call it a pencil or a crayon? I wanna make sure you guys get it right. Yeah, they call it a brow, it's the brow lift pencil. So definitely check this out. Like I said, this is a natural black. So I'm just gonna go in and do both of my brows. And you can't really see on this side, but stay tuned, girl. We gonna make it work. You know what I hate about my eyebrows? And I feel like this is a common thing. Your eyebrows, nothing on your face is 100% symmetrical, including your eyebrows. And my eyebrows, I feel like they be letting me know every day we are fraternal twins. Girls, sometimes we're not even sure if we got the same daddy. But, you know, we related somehow. Because my eyebrows, like one eyebrow always looks so phenomenal and the other one looks like it's been struggling. And today it feels like it's the opposite brow. Usually the second brow is the best brow for me. Today, the second one ain't given like it normally give, but that's okay, because they both look great. And that's the Charlotte Tilbury Brow Lift Pencil. I'm telling you, it's magic. Even if you don't know what you're doing, this one's so good. So I am applying primer right now. So the Milk Hydro Grip Primer, this is the one that I really like. And I just put it on a spatula to put on my face because I don't want to touch my face right now. And I just apply this first. This is a really good primer as far as kind of keeping your makeup in place. It's clear so you don't have to worry about it changing the color of your foundation or the color of the finish you're trying to create. And I just really like this. I mean, it's almost gone. So I just ordered some more. You definitely need more of that. And it's the Milk Hydro Grip Primer. This one, it was another one. It went viral on TikTok. Everybody was obsessed with it. Actually, when I got it, I got the Hydro Grip Primer and the Hydro Grip Makeup Refreshing Spray. So they came in a nice little set, which was perfect. This set, this combination, your makeup not going nowhere. This combination. So this is actually perfect for me going to work today. Yeah. So I'm letting this dry and then So I'm letting this dry and then I will go in with my foundation. The foundation that I have been loving is from Danessa Murex and it is the Yummy Skin. I use this one, I think it's a shade nine, but the reason this is such a great product, it's got something called Upsolite in it. It's supposed to enhance the natural beauty of your skin while also blurring any blemishes or any areas that don't look so great. Um, and it photographs really well, it applies really well. It's really interesting the way it is formulated. So it's a cream foundation and it comes with this little, it comes with this little spatula. The first time I used it, I used the spatula and I did not like how it was looking on me. I just, I really did not like how it looked. It looks greasy. I, maybe I didn't, I have to, I did not use the spatula right. I couldn't have used it right. Um, I told y'all I'm not a makeup girly, but the next time I used it, I was like, you know what? Let me try to do it my way because that is the theme of my life is doing things my way. So I said, let's give it a shot and I actually use a foundation brush like this one here. This is just a nice, thick, dense foundation brush. This one is from NYX. And I just go in and I kind of like dab, take some off. And I bring it to my face. I bring it to my face and I just press it into my skin. Um, I mean, you can already see the difference. It's so crazy how well this works. And 
And I think the reason I really like this is because it is very much yummy skin. It just gives skin. It does not feel heavy. I've used some cream-based foundations and they can feel super heavy. And I just don't want that. Like your skin, your pores are clogged and it just, it doesn't look great. So you can see, just looking, I'm gonna bring you some light so you can see it. You can see the difference there. It's just such a good foundation. I really do think the Upsolite stuff, the Upsolite really helps. So then I'm just gonna go in and do the rest of my face. But highly, highly recommend this. It's so funny the way that I did not like this when I first used it. Um, just shows you gotta give things a chance. I don't know who this is for, but there's something that you used or did one time and you were just like, mm, I don't wanna. Do it again, do it again. It ain't gonna kill you. Don't do it if it's gonna kill you, but it ain't gonna kill you. Try again and see how you like it. I always find second time is the charm with me. Cause second time I kinda know what I'm doing, know what I'm looking for. And it's just always better the second time. Actually, I'm not into numerology like that, but two happens to be my lucky number. So I'm just saying, whoever's watching this and needs a sign that they could try that thing out again, this is your sign. Do it. Mm -hmm. Look at that. So good. So good. I love this stuff. So now I'm going to do the rest of my face. Ready with me. But let's do this. Let's finish doing this makeup. Actually, you know what? I, this continues on. I'm using this concealer. So this concealer from Juvia's Place. The thing is, I find that Juvia's Place foundation tends to be a little bit thick for me. I find that Juvia's Place foundation and their... I find that Juvia's Place products tend to be a little bit more... Um, is the word theatrical? Like, they, the products are great. They have amazing coverage, but that's it. It's like it's full coverage. And your girl ain't always trying to have a full beat. I'm just not. But I will tell you, the products are amazing for that. But I really like this under eye concealer. So um, this is the Juvia's Place Concealer. And I use the color 11, um, which is a little bright for me. But it blends out really, really well. I find that this one's not as like dry and cakey and it doesn't dry as quickly, which gives it a good opportunity for you to be able to spread it and blend it. I like that a lot about this concealer. And I'm just using an angle tip brush that I got from like Primark or something to come in and it helps to diffuse the sides. But girl, like I said, I'm not a foundation. I'm not a makeup girly. I'm not telling y'all how to do makeup. I'm just telling y'all to make the products that I like. But y'all, so I'll come in and I put concealer on my eyes, on my lids, because I have dark lids. And it's a good way to start my eyeshadow makeup. But yes, trust the process. I know y'all don't trust the process enough, but I need y'all to trust the process. So now I'm gonna tell y'all, this is the last product I wanted to talk about in terms of skincare and makeup. The Makeup Forever HD Setting Powder, girl. This is good. So I have super, I try to say it all cute, combination oily skin. My skin is oily, oily as it's so gosh dang oily. And girl, I do everything, everything, every day, all day, trying to, I'm just open. I do everything all day trying to keep this oil at bay, but I'm constantly producing oil. This is the only setting powder that I have found that keeps me matte throughout the day, like 100% matte throughout the day. So I use this. I use this. I will take my little puff brush, my puff. I will take my little puff and I will come in. And again, I ain't trying to teach y'all nothing you don't know, but 
I will put mine right underneath the under eyes. And I do it right after I put on my concealer because, um, girl, the way this oil is set up, the concealer be running before we ain't even got nowhere. So I just go in and I put setting all over, including over the eye to set the concealer that I put on my eye. And while it's down below, on the chin, girl. All right, the final step before I head out the door is to put on some type of perfume. So Kayali has, obviously they have their, the company has its own site, but right now Sephora is having 20% off of Kayali products. I hope I'm saying that right. Kayali, Kayali. Kayali products are currently 20% off at Sephora on Sephora.com. So I, I really love these. So I've gotten a bunch of their sample sizes and they're so cute and adorable. This one is Deja Vu White Flower and it smells so good. They have vanilla as well, which um, the vanilla one has been another hitter, but ooh, this, this Deja Vu, it reminds me of scents that my mother had, but it is more mature, more bougie. It feels like a batter bitch than my mom's perfume. Now I'm going to head out the door, head to work. I hope you enjoyed this video. Like I said, if you guys like videos like this, make sure that you hit the subscribe button and I'll catch y'all in the next one. Bye.